Welcome back, listeners. You're here with us today on the Hero Whispers podcast for Supergirls. That's two L's, second L for love. I'm your host, Jean Marie, and we are here today with Southern Belle, Paige Jagel, and she is a sorority sister. Shout out to Chai Delta Sorority. Woo! Delta, Delta, Delta. <laughs> Hey, I'm so excited. I love when I have sorority sisters on the show because Tri Delta was a lifeline for me in college. But before we meet Paige, let me just tell you, if you're new to the show, what we do, why we're here, and all that good stuff. So we're the podcast, we're the podcast arm of Supergirls, which is a content platform we created to empower and inspire college women to launch from college to life them with tools like career clarity networking and personal branding etc etc um and our podcast we get to interview some of these women and also other women that have graduated and are doing amazing things and can inspire our college women like Paige. Paige Jagel is the member development manager at Tri Delta's executive office in Dallas Texas. She works with the member experience programs such as the Life After College series, new member education program, and body image 3D program. Prior to her position, she completed her master's in student affairs, curriculum, and instruction at University of South Florida in Tampa, Florida. Welcome to the show, Paige. I'm so happy to have you. Thank you. I am so honored to be here and so excited for our chat today. Oh my God, I love what you do. Okay, that is like my dream job. So let's talk about that first because <laughs> how did you, uh, you know, how did you get to be at Tri Delta in the corporate office? Uh, the sisterhood, I've talked about this before on the shows. It's just so important, I think, to the college girls. Um, and I just love that your life's work is just dedicated to them. So, so talk about that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so that's a great question. So working at Tri Delta was always my dream job. Um, and the fact that it's a reality for me is something I'm very, very honored to do. Um, so like many, my career journey has had a lot of, you know, ups and downs and turns and, um, and surprises. And so I went to undergrad or went to college in Florida, and my family wanted me to be a lawyer. And and I wasn't, you know, that wasn't for me. And so I... Don't, don't you love how your family wants you to be... Why do families think that they they can dictate that? <laughs> love them. But, you know, why is that? Anyway, go ahead. Sorry, you're right. Yeah. No, you're good. I took one political science class and figured out that was not the route for me. So I was very interested in education. I took an education class class on a whim, fell in love, loved being in the classroom, and loved just, you know, helping students in every way. And then I was super involved in college as a student leader in student organizations and in Tri Delta. I was the new member educator, which is pretty much a teacher for new members in the organization. And it inspired and just kind of showed me that I love working with college students. I love that population. There's so much growth that happens between a freshman, a freshman student to a senior. Um, and it's just very inspiring to be a part of that journey. So I had that in the back of my head and I graduated to college and wasn't sure what to do. And so I was a substitute high school teacher but I really wanted to work with college students. So I decided to go back to school and uh, go to University of South Florida for their student affairs program. And I actually worked there as well. I worked with the students in the student activities and Greek life office. And I worked with students every day. I advised them. I looked for different opportunities to learn more about different areas of working at a college. I was a teaching assistant for a freshman 101 class and worked on various projects. And so 
the thing that introduced me to career readiness and working uh, to, you know, launch collegiate students to the next phase of their life was I had a project in my class where I assessed the career center and their uh, services. And so I used, yeah, yeah. And so I got to do some research on them and use those strategies to help the freshman course that I was a TA for. So I created a panel of different careers and different majors, and uh, we did career assessments, and I just kind of found a love for it and really enjoyed, you know, being a resource for them. And so I graduated with my master's and saw that the job for Tri Delta was open, and I watched every career advice video I could get my hands on. I practiced, I prepped, I, you know, I want to, you know, you have one shot, so. Right on. Good. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, and I got the dream job, and I get to continue my passion for preparing our members for life after college and launching them to the next phase of their life. I mean, that I can, first of all, congratulations on your master's, okay? That is, you know, you. the whole <laughs> decision to go back to school and re and re rewire is like a whole thing and then actually getting through <laughs> it and you know deciding so early on like that you had like this calling or something you know um <laughs> I love it I love that it all gelled and like what do you think when you went for the job I love how you described it you're right you you know if you have this is like one shot that the way you thought about it was so perfect to to prepare because sometimes you don't prepare enough you know and you 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 think oh what if but you didn't you didn't let that happen what was it about when like when you were doing the interview when you knew that it was like it was going to happen did you get did you kind of get a feeling yeah so so part of my interview was I had to prepare a um, a program and so my program was focused on uh, career preparedness and the next competence which are skills that employers are looking for. And it just kind of perfectly aligned with the Life After College series. And I could just see myself making, contributing my skills and my background to that program. And it just kind of, like you said, it just kind of gelled together. All these experiences that that I had were going to contribute to this job in in a good way. Well, let's talk about that Life After College series. That's a new, relatively new initiative for Tri-Delta, right? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So the Life After College series, um, so we talk about launching women into this new phase of life. Uh, So Tri-Delta is determined to do that with the Life After College series. Uh, A prominent conversation employers and colleges are having revolves around the term career readiness. Uh, Gen Z, or today's college student, is focused on improving their employability and, you know, what major or what career path um, will have job security and will have um, a good chance. And so the Life After College series is to help our members build confidence and consider the skills and the strengths that they have um, to help them transition, whether it is graduate school, whether it is their first job, um, that we are there for them. So the series has four components. The first is online professional development. So click of a button, click of a mouse, members can learn how to translate their tri experience um, into resume points and into transferable skills. Our members are leaders. Um, they're great communicators. They're managing budgets. But do they know how to talk about that? Maybe not. And so that is where we close that gap. When, I heard, when I heard some of those budgets that some of these women manage, I mean, most people in their lifetime don't manage budgets that big. And some exactly. Of and <laughs> exactly. And they, you know, they don't put it on their resume sometimes. And, you know, who, who has that opportunity? So, um, so yeah. And then 
uh, our second point or our second component is our salary negotiation workshop, which is in partnership with AAUW. It's focusing on how to negotiate your salary and your benefit package and really give women the confidence that they need uh, to do that. Uh, since we do know that the gender pay gap, uh, one year out of college, that women are already earning significantly less um, than their male counterparts. So it's just, we are very proud to partner with AUW to provide this opportunity. The third component is informational interviews. So through Tridelso's new networking platform, Connect EDV, which is like Facebook and LinkedIn, uh, our college members can network with alumni in their field of interest and, you know, get a mentor and get career advice and schedule informational interviews. Uh, there's also a job and internship board on there as well. And then lastly is our Life After College Explained book, which is a little entertaining instructional guide for our seniors that we, uh, through doing donations uh, to the Tridelsis Foundation, and it provides helpful tips on signing your first apartment lease and buying your first car and, you know, understanding business etiquette, office etiquette, uh, but we know that Generation Z is attending college to enhance their employability, and we, as Tridelta, um, can assist with this by providing the Life After College series and investing in our members' professional development. I, of course, am so aligned with this vision because that's the same kind of work that we do. And we know, because Paige and I have talked about this, um, listeners, we've talked about this a few times, but uh, the Life After College book is amazing. Um, it is. It has even has things in there like how to you know, best practices for like a company dinner. Um, things that you, yeah, things you don't even think about, but could could make or break you, you know, something like that, or a Christmas party. You know, how many people have, have, you know, gone to a company Christmas party and just got, you know, completely inappropriately wasted and, you know, kind of trashed themselves politically? So... It, 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 it addresses like the nuances of things you don't even think about. It is so uh, comprehensive. So I, I love it. I think it's great. I think you guys did a, a fantastic job with that. And the fact that you hit on these four cylinders are so, it's just so perfect. How about what's happening right now um, with the collegiates and the fact that, you know, they're not on campus and they're not, you know, how are they managing the, the, the sororities right now is it, is it are they still having meetings like virtual meetings and are you guys supporting them more are you seeing some of that now yeah so we um so everything is kind of you know up in the open about fall and spring and you know virtually right now we we do have chapters having virtual meetings um we do have some chapters who are still doing workshops i mean we have one chapter uh who's doing a salary negotiation workshop this Saturday um, because it's bringing some normalcy to their chapter um, over Zoom. And so, yes, we are dedicated to supporting our members during this time. We are trying to provide more resources. We're trying to do senior programming and, you know, more support for our new members. And, you know, some we're trying to get internships and what does that look like? So right now we're in the process of trying to find resources um, to help with that transition. I'm just going to put it out there, but I'm doing a boot camp for a free boot camp for it's called hashtag what happens after college boot camp. Um, it's free and it's via zoom and it's next weekend. And so 